Okay, so it's bear review time. I'm doing a beer from Carl over at the Floor Schwabers Union on the other side of the world. It's international beer mill. Always my favourite type of beer mill. Um, so this is his ESB, 5.4%. Um, he's actually he's left me a weed, uh, a little ladder. Let's see what it says. It says Kia Ora. I'm guessing that's a Maori greeting. Kia Ora, big banana. I think you are the best on the YouTubes. I love you so much. It's like watching Elvis in the 50s. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, it doesn't say that. It says just what he's given me. So yeah, he's given me two beers. So this is one. The other ones is Party Gale Coffee Imperial Stout. So that's 9.2%. So that's a keeper. I'm making a bit of a collection in next door of all the really high ABV beers. So uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to drink them. Possibly Christmas. Can I leave it that long? I don't know. But if you've got a really in crazy, intense... Uh, 9% beer you want to send me, feel free. Anyway, never mind me touting for beer mail. Um, so yeah, what's on the ASB? I'm already getting distracted here. I could probably read this while I'm pouring to save any time. Okay, so it's American Ale. Couldn't get any ale malt from the homebrew shop. So American Ale malt, I guess that is. Um, Light Crystal. Got Dark Crystal, Chocolate Malt, Aurora, Supernova and Flecked Maze. And they're all the malts, well, that's a lot. As far as hops go, it's just on a full target. Goldings, Challenger and North Down, so all English. Looks like, I think this is off the keg, isn't it? Yeah. And then it was fermented out with WLP002, that's the London Ale Yeast. It's one I quite like, so that's good. So, uh, yeah, I made a, an uh, ESP myself. It was a bit shit, if we're being honest. So I'm really hoping that this, this is what I could, it could have been. So, yeah, really dark. Well, it's actually, when you look at it in the light, obviously it's hard to see. It's kind of like a real, a real deep red colour. A bit lighter around the bottom. I thought it was just, it looked really brown, but... <clears throat> it's actually really red, maybe like a mahogany brown. Um, not too much of a head. Not sure that head's going to stay. Mm. Kind of smells like um, like a caramel kind of. Caramel crystal, maybe a little bit of chocolate as well in there. Mm, it's nice. I'm sure I can smell a bit of alcohol in there as well, but I'm not entirely sure. 5.4%. So anyway, so what have we got? Hops, Target, Goldings, Challenger and North Down. So I've never actually had North Down. I know, I think everybody in the world has had North Down, apart from me, so... I don't know if I'll be able to pick them out or not, so... Cheers, Carl. Very much appreciated. I should really be wearing the t-shirt. You sent me, Carl sent me a t-shirt as well too. Which you've probably seen last week. In the Effort Friday. But uh, yeah, I'm literally just home from work. Get the kids their dinner straight up here. And then the wife will be home, so. So yeah, cheers. Oh, it's <coughs> interesting. Quite hoppy. <clears throat> it's quite those kind of English hops give it that kind of earthy kind of taste. And there's maybe a little bit of is it berries? Is that what I'm tasting? There's a fruitiness of some description in there. It's 
quite smooth as well. Although there is a bit of fizz in there. As far as mouthfeel goes, it's kind of kind of a medium to full mouthfeel, I think. Well, certainly medium anyway. It is quite <clears throat> it is quite a bitter beer. It's not bitter as in IPA bitter, but better as in you, you can really taste it on the back end when it goes down. You're left with this kind of really earthy taste in your mouth. It's quite nice, I like that. For me, that's the perfect antidote. Say antidote, it's probably not the right word. Because that's kind of got a negative connotation to it. But it's the perfect beer to have after like a like an like an American IPA or something like that, or maybe a New Zealand IPA. Um the kind of new world, tropical flavours. And then you have that. And that's just right back to the old world. I really wish I had used WLPs or two of mine. I wish I had used any other bloody yeast apart from the one I used. The one I used tastes like... Well that tastes like really nice and you can taste everything in it. The one I used makes it taste like it's bloody Becker's yeast that's been fermented at like 30 degrees or something like that. It's just it's not, it's not good at all. But you know, it's drinkable. It's not infected. I really that's what I meant to do. Excuse me. So yeah. So the other thing too, I think Carl posted this on a Tuesday, and it got to me on like a Saturday, which is like what four days, five days later. Something really crazy. So well done to the New Zealand Postal Service for that. I think they must have. I don't know. I've never had beer mail, international beer mail, come that quickly before. But there you are. Just goes to show what can be done. That really is nice. It's that kind of earthiness I really like. On the back end. There she's shouting. Our, our time is limited here. We need to make the most of it before she comes shouting. Um, yeah, that kind of earthiness. And that kind of bitterness on the end. That's really what... That's the kind of thing that I was looking for mine. I think for mine I would like a bit more... It's kind of the caramelliness coming out. It is in there. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just looking at the list. Aurora Malt. I think I've heard of Aurora Malt. I think I remember seeing it more somewhere. But I think that's like a, I don't know if we can get Aurora over here. And Supernova is another one that um, I'm not just showing. God's sake. Never happy. Always want something. So, yeah, those two malts I'm not quite familiar with. But, yeah, it's quite nice. If mine tastes like that, I'll be happy. Yeah, very nice. Anyway, I'll not drag it out, so I'll just say cheers to Carl. I've still got the other one to try. Thanks very much for sending it to me, and thanks very much for the t-shirt as well. It's awesome. I love that t-shirt. So, uh, although my wife can't understand why someone would send a t-shirt from the other side of the world. She can't understand why people would send beer from the other side of the world, but beer on a t-shirt, she's like, what? What's going on? What do you do? What do you men do? It's like, yeah, okay, best not go into it. 
But anyway, so I've said too much already. Biggest deal of my marriage. Cheers!